and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be playing Moth House. Uh, this game is by the same developer that created Liminal Gallery, a game that I have previously played on this channel. Um, I really enjoyed that one. It had interesting game mechanics and visuals, so I figured I would give something else by the developer a try. This one, as the name implies, uh, centralizes around a house filled with moths. Um, it said that there were some collection aspects to it, and it did say it's a horror game. Um, I really like moths in real life, so I don't know how creepy it'll be to me. I'm not super afraid of insects, except for like centipedes, so. Um, yeah, this is Moth House, and let's get into the game. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. It means that I will not... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request, I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with, a, with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. I have such a hard time reading things when they're moving. <laughs> I didn't realize it was in grayscale. I thought it was just, it was dark. All right, so click moths. It's dark. Oh. Use control to cap. Crouch. Oh, but I. I collect them while they're in the air. Oh no, my match is running out. What the heck? <gasps> oh, oops. Oh no. Okay, cannot interact with those ones for some reason. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Oh! Use tab. Oh, hello. Okay. So I got a leopard moth and American dagger moth. How many matches do I have? That's the real question. Did I catch any? Oh god, I got 15 of them. <laughs> Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Mm, milk. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's just like Animal Crossing. Uh, okay, I have a lot of the same kinds. Pick up. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Okay, so how do I use this? Oh. Do I have unlimited? I guess so. Is this just gonna tell me moths are near? Huh. Interesting. Is this locked? I could run. 
There's a moth. Okay. Still a little confused. Oh, okay. Crowbar. Hook! No recipes. That's random. I like that I have unlimited matches, though. That's kind of nice. What would I cook? Should I just, like, go hard? <laughs> no, because now I have, like, 38 American Dagger Moths. I don't need that many. Can I release these? No, oh, I can unlock Cool. Uh, crouch. Use... That was important. Wow, it has, like, a surprising amount of aiming to it that I wasn't expecting. Those look like mosquitoes. Oh, wait. Oops. Oh, wow. I think that's the same one I got from before. That... What? I don't understand. Oh! That's a lot of moths. <laughs> Comet moth. Black witch moth. What is that giant one I got? Cacropia moth. Ramen. Oh God, that one in the bottom left corner has feelers. Those are the kinds of bugs I don't like. Oh, I don't like I don't like that at all. Oh, they're so cute. They're actually way moths are way cuter up close than if you if you've ever seen like a close-up picture of a butterfly, they're some of them are terrifying. I mean a lot of insects are, but oh a recipe. Let's go make it. Let's go make the recipe. Oh. Okay. Let's cook. Oh. I gotta eat the moths. Why am I cooking the moths? That's weird. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep continuing where we were going. Did I go here? Oh, this is right. No, I don't think I've been over here. Ooh, that's the one I don't like. Ooh. Uh, the Creatonodos. Genghis? Moth? Is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. Of course it is. Uh, it is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored hind wings that are covered in long fluffy hair like structures called Kuramata. The Kuramata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary in size and shape for its Kuramata in response to environmental and social factors which may play a role in male selection and competition. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Um, okay. I'm just gonna collect all the moss. It doesn't seem like I have, like, a capacity. Why would I cook them, though? My dad specifically asked me to release them. That doesn't make any sense. I am confused. Oh, it sounds like a purring cat. Also, why are there- why are they just loose? God, yeah, I have a lot. Of the same kind of- I have 70 American Dagger Moths. Um, I definitely have a lot more types than I did before. Fuck this, dude. Yeah, I like moths, but if there were this many in my house, I'd call an exterminator. <laughs> there was an old horror movie, I can't remember what it was called, but it was- Something about, like, a parasitic insect that was, like, spreading across the city. I wonder if there's a horror movie. It kind of reminds me of this. Ugh. I don't like them all moving together. Creepy. Another recipe. I don't want to cook the moths. I feel like that's bad. 
Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua, lingua moth had many abilities besides speaking human language. They are capable of redacted. <clears throat> to report that I so I'm so I have to report that I'm going to redacted. I'm not sure I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. Redacted. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I'm away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths, just in case I'll block the entrance if something happens then. Redacted. I left the key in the attic in the library. In the attic in the library? Or in the attic or the library? There's some jars. It is very creepy, that's for sure. Also super, is there a map? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, whoa. This room looks a little dilapidated. Oops. Uh, in a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a, collect a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. What the fuck? <laughs> this incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through, through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. It's not the disgusting looking one. Um, I don't see it on this list though. There's the death's head one. That's from Silence of the Lambs. Okay. More moths, more moths, more moths, more moths. Um. I don't want to cook them. I mean, I know, I feel like the game wants me to cook them. <gasps> oh, <laughs> shit, the thing. What the fuck? What the Is that the lingua moth? The fuck? Oh god damn. Oh. I'm scared to explore. Holy shit, these things are huge. Oh my god. All the moths. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. There's a lot. It is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, that's a freaky looking one. They're huge. Now I know why I can run. God damn it. Stop! Oh, it's giving me chills. Oh, there's a. This is where the library is. The attic library. Gee. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. What if he spoke like Mandarin? How convenient for him to speak English. 
Lucky Mr. Heart. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm like really scared of running into this fucking moth again. Cause I was not expecting that. I did. There was like a picture of it on the game page. But I didn't think it was going to just be wandering around the house. You know? What's this? Ugh! It's extra uncomfortable because they're so loud. I'm not going to get scared. I like moths. Creepy. Okay. Gonna go somewhere else. Oh, so I'm trying to find the basement. I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Let's goose. Duck. Duck goose. I feel very vulnerable. I wonder if that's what this is for. Where does this key go to then? I don't need to go back. Speak for yourself, buddy. I didn't know that I went back to the entrance. My bad. That's that's the blockade he created to keep people out. Very effective. I don't understand why this doesn't go to this. I thought that's what that. It's really high. It's really fucking high all of a sudden. Oh, is it? Oh, it's high over here. Interesting. God, it's so eerie. What the fuck do I do with this goop? Do I give it to this guy? It's really high. Good for the basement. Isn't that what it said? Okay, okay. I did not anticipate being afraid of a moth. I feel kind of like a big fat baby. I have gone in and out of these rooms so many times. The white and black witch moth, also known as the giant owl moth, is a species of moth found in Paris, parts of North, Central, and South America. It is known for its large size with a wingspan that can reach up to 30 centimeters and its distinct black and white coloration. The caterpillars of the species are also quite striking with bright greens and yellow stripes along their bodies. Yes, moth stuff. 
Okay, continuing. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm trying to get to the basement. Why would I need to be up here still? Okay. Oh. Did I miss something? Fifteen to twenty-five minutes if you're on a dipshit like me. Peace. That fucking big. <gasps> Ooh, what? what kind of basement is this? What the fuck? Why is it like a series of tunnels? What am I supposed to do in the basement? God damn, there's a lot of fucking moths down here. <laughs> Okay, okay. Ugh, icky. It's not a cocoon, the crystal. What is even down here? What is the point of coming down here? Hmm. Okay, well, I finally found the basement and still confused. I was wandering around for so long. What's happening? What? What? Oh! Ew! What? He didn't do a very good job. What the fuck? Ew. Ew. What is happening? Gross. Well, at least I know what happens when I get caught. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, oh cool. Okay. What do I do with this freaking flop? Do I give it to the moth? Like, what do I do with this? I'm super confused. This is nasty. <laughs> this is super nasty. Ugh, I don't know what it is. It's so gross. Look at that one! That one's moving! Ugh! You gross! Still haven't found that nasty uh earwig fucking one. At least I don't think so. Let's see. Nope, still haven't found any. I'm gonna release all of you. I'm just like hoping it's mixed in amongst all the ones I'm aiming at. <sighs> okay, um, I don't see it. Ugh. Disgusting. Just because it's a swarm. Like, I've been to the botanical gardens where they'll often have, um, like a butterfly sanctuary, and it's so cool. But 
If there's like a swarm of them on the wall, it's a different story. Okay, I read that. Well, I guess I gotta find the moth and give him this bucket of chum. All right, let's try that. Let's try giving him the bucket of chum. I don't know how this is gonna go. Pray for me. Where'd he go? I didn't want it! What am I supposed to do with this bucket of chum? I like that it doesn't just straight up kill me, though. Oh, I'm still holding the bucket. What am I supposed to do with this? I really thought I was supposed to... Alright, alright. Obviously, I'm missing something. What do I do with the chum? What do I do with the chum? Eat? What did I just eat? What the heck did I just eat? That was weird. Oh, oh, do I have a crowbar? No. That's disappointing. What the fuck did I just eat? I just ate. Something on the table. That's the only one I need is just disgusting one that I don't even want. Can I just like... Can I just say no? Can I say no, please? Is that all it is? Is it just waiting for me to find this last moth? I am way exceeding the average playtime. Is there a term for like insect phobia? Versus like, because obviously I know arachnophobia is spiders, but I wonder if there is a specific fear of moths. Where are you, gross moth? Oh, there it is! Oh, it's not the worst fucking thing on the planet. That is monster fuel. Or nightmare fuel, monster fuel. It is a monster. Uh, <laughs> as terrifying as it is, one of my favorite memes is that like super intimidating moth on the screen. <gasps> no! Intimidating moth on the screen door. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's so old. But it's pretty fun. Damn it. Where is it? Oh, I don't even want to see it. It's disgusting. Get it out of my mind. I think I just need to find this last moth and then I can leave. That is my hope. I feel like I've been going around in circles for like ever. Way longer than the average game time. Gameplay time. Which is so embarrassing. Absolutely hate that. Okay, I don't care about that. I'm pretty sure I have every single moth other than that one. I have, like, a ton of them, in fact. Am I supposed to use this for something? What do I do with this friggin' pot of moth goop? I think I gotta, like, place it somewhere. I don't know, dude. I like how we brought the um, largest collection of matches, but not. <laughs> ah! Fuck! <laughs> this is the worst, is when I'm sucking at a game. Ugh. <sighs> What the fuck do I do with this? This is definitely the door that was locked earlier. I remember it's directly across from the kitchen. Oh, 
Jesus! Oh, ew, no thank you. Uh, is this for you? Is this for you? Hi, ugly. Oh. Oh, it's the... Hello, human, I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him. Once he even almost ate me? Oof. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed moth the moth king. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. What the fuck? Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's, it'd be better if you make soup from other ingredients. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I made the first one last time. Okay, I feel like an absolute idiot. I don't know. Uh, okay, so. No, no, no. I still haven't found all of them. Which one did I do last time? I bet it's this one. I bet it's this one. I have no idea where the other moth is. It doesn't... I can do this one. Did I already do this one? I think this is the first recipe. Let's try this one. I can make it. Did I just try it on the moth? I guess. Oh no. Oh. Dude, I don't know how many times I went in fucking circles just missing this stupid door. Should I try this one? That is disturbing. Thank you, but King has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough for him. Are you not? So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna make that again. Are you the most? I'm so confused. I'm afraid to give it to him. I don't want to waste it. I'm really confused. What the fuck is- where does this go? Ugh. Ew! I think this is that moth I've been looking for. Oh, it is. Bastard. You bastard. Been in here the whole time? Okay. So, I guess let's just try this one more time. Are you the Moth King? Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible and you have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. The Moth King says, you killed moths for nothing. Make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there is no choice. Goodbye. What? That's not fair. I didn't do anything. Wait, no. Oh. I just realized what was going on just now. Hold, please. It sure does look like one, though. Alright, that was, uh... That was pretty weird. Um, I kind of ruined it for myself a little bit because I kept passing by the doorway uh, that I didn't realize I had the key for at this point because there's like a lock the locked door that led to the moth king and a locked door that led to um, the basement stairs and that one got unlocked when I got attacked 
and then I had a key the whole time and I just kept walking by it like a dumbass. Um, and I also didn't realize until I went to Moth Hell that Moth King was the little mouth connected to the giant moth. And then the moth that made up the eyes was like the one that spoke English. I don't know why that didn't click right away. I was like, am I feeding the king? I was. Um, there's multiple endings if you guys want to play this yourself uh, and check out what the other alternatives are. Maybe you can get out of the house alive. Um, one thing that I was curious about was like, could I have just left? Could I have just left after I got the last moth? I would have done what my uh, grandpa wanted, uncle. But I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was an interesting play. Um, I'm... I've enjoyed uh, the other game that I played by this developer, and this one was no different. This was a good game, uh, very atmospheric. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.